Welcome to 3D Amazon FBA. Today we're going to talk about um, how to make as much money as you possibly can uh, for the next holiday, which is Valentine's Day. Before I get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, so the next main holiday, we just got done with Christmas. You know, Christmas was about four days ago. Um, hopefully you guys were able to do some um, Christmas candy sourcing and get all that out into Amazon already because uh, you know you can make a lot of money selling that Christmas candy. And if you haven't went and checked it out, go uh, go down to your source, see if there's anything left. Um, when I went sourcing for Christmas um, candy, there was very little. Um, they were telling me they were sold out before Christmas even hit a couple of stores. So I only sent in about 50 bags of Christmas candy when I typically send in closer to like a thousand between all the stores. But it is what it is, you know, uh, but now it's time to refocus and get ready for Valentine's Day. You know, you have to always be thinking ahead, you know, because Valentine's Day is in uh, six weeks, roughly. So, you know, you don't really have much time. You need to get out there and get sourcing now. Valentine's Day candy went in about three days ago here, at least where I'm at. You know, so it, it's going to hit the store. And it's going to hit the store fast. And it is a very short holiday to... Um, to get product in. But I sent in about 100 bags of Valentine's Day candy um, yesterday. So, uh, you know, it's, it is it is out there. So the trick with Valentine's Day uh, candy is it's not really selling yet. There's not a whole lot even available in the Amazon warehouse. So you, sales rank isn't going to really guide you because it's not selling yet, you know, because people aren't even really thinking about it yet. But we have to because you know, we have shipping times and Amazon redistribution times and stuff like that. So you don't really look at sales rank. You want to look at the reviews. So, for example, I had some, I think it was Dove's Candy. It had a sales rank of about 200,000, but it had over 300 reviews. So that tells me that it's selling or, you know, that it does sell every year. 300 reviews is quite a bit, you know, especially for a seasonal candy. So, uh, you know, I bought, I don't know, say 10, 15 bags of it to send in, you know, getting first to market also the first ones to get it in stock is beneficial because you're not dealing with um, people taking the prices and stuff like that. And uh, people will start selling it once they're kind of, you know, get unwound from Christmas, start putting down the Christmas stuff. People are going to start realizing that it's Valentine's Day, you know, so, um, you know, Candy is going to be your main thing. Um, the stuffed animals, I don't. I usually sell a few every year, probably about ten or twenty every year. But the prices seem to be doing this. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, the prices just do like this, and they just go crazy. And last year, Amazon had their fees like eighteen dollars for a stuffed animal. Uh, I don't know why it was so much. So it was, uh, so I only sold a couple and I think I actually lost money on them last year because Amazon fees were so high. And so once the price tanked, you know, you're kind of just stuck. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And really for Valentine's Day, that's all I sell. Um, you know, you can get the big giant, um, like tens uh, of chocolate. Um, I think Amazon was on those last year. So be, be wary of, if Amazon gets on them, you know, kind of like the giant Kit Kat bar I sold for Christmas, Amazon was on them, but I was still able to sell mine, you know, whenever they sold out before they got more in. Um, I had the same thing happen to me last year with those big giant tins of candy and stuff like that. So, but you're really going to want to uh, pretty much scan the entire aisle, you know, just go through everything and just scan everything that they got there. And, um, you know, you can make money selling like the little hearts to say like be mine on it and stuff like that. I also a couple hundred ba bags of those a variety of sizes and stuff um, through Valentine's Day season. You know, Dove is always uh, pretty good. M&Ms are hit and miss. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're not. You know, you just have to kind of check that out. You know, still it's still cold outside. So look out for like um, hot chocolate mix and stuff like that. I sell a couple of things that hot chocolate mix like every day still, and it's going to be that way through February. You know, so that's another thing to really think about. But, um, you know, 
Valentine's Day candy is where it's at for right now. You need to start sourcing it like now because, you know, you're looking at two to three weeks before it's even available to sell. And then that only gives customers a good two weeks or so to, to buy it and get it shipped to them. You know, so you do need to get on this as soon as possible. So that's what I've got for you guys today. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.